Hi families, we are back again to help you be word detectives with your kids this week. Um, one of the ways that they could be a word detective is looking for context clues. And context clues are clues within the text that can help um, a student figure out what that word means. Sometimes they're reading a sentence and there's a word in there that they're not quite sure what it means. But if they look at the words around that unknown word, there might be some clues within those other words that could help them figure it out. And those are called context clues. So in this um, Word document here, we have given you some ideas of what context clues are and how they can be, uh, your student could be a word detective. And then we also gave you some examples here so that you can practice with your student. So in this first sentence, it says, the blank purred and rubbed his neck on my leg. So you, you would ask your child, what word could you use to fill in the blank there? They'd probably say cat. And then you would ask them, how did you know that? Why did you say cat? And maybe they would say it's because the word purred helped them figure it out or rubbed his neck. That led them to think it might be an animal. What animal does that? A cat does. So let's try sentence number two. The mom changed the baby's blank when it got smelly. What word could you fill in with that one? Probably diaper. Again, you would ask your child, what made you say diaper? Maybe they would say the baby's smelly. Um, and those are some things that they, those are called context clues that helped them figure out the word diaper. So in for sentences three through 10, ask your child to read them to you, leaving a little blank, and then trying to figure out what that word could be using some context clues within the sentence. Thanks.